Good day students I am T. Herm and today we will talk about participate in an organized event that addresses health fitness issues and concerns. Our topic is divided into two lessons namely first developing home-based family e-workout and evaluation and the second one is self-organized home-based fitness activity. After we going through our topic, you are expected to First identify the methods in developing individual or group physical activity. Second is distinguish the factors as basis in developing home-based physical activity. And the last one is participate in a self-organized home-based fitness act. Before we proceed to our topic let us have first a short assessment. Get your activity log. I gave you 30 seconds to answer each item. Direction. Read each statement carefully and choose the letter of the best answer. Rich your answer on your activity log. For the first question. Which type of activity requires group of muscle to work or hold against a force or some weight? A. Bone strengthening activities. B. Muscular endurance activities. C. Muscle strengthening activities. D. Cardiovascular strengthening activities. Very good the correct answer for number one is letter C. Muscle strengthening activities. For the second question. Which among the given exercises could not be considered as a cardiovascular endurance activity? A. Cycling. B. Jogging. C. Push-up. D. Walking. The correct answer is letter C. Push-up Number 3. Which among the activities is considered a muscular endurance activity? A. Arm stretching B. Planking C. Running D. Weight lifting Very good. Letter D. Vig lifting is the correct answer. Question number four. Sleep is essential to everyone's health. Which is a good habit in managing sleep? A. Internet obsession. B. Bulk meal before sleep. C. Getting to bed on time. D. Staying up all night long. Very good letter C is the correct answer. Getting to bed on time. We always have a good slapping habit so that we keep our body healthy. For the last question. Before an extensive activity, one needs the right kind of food. Which is being defined by the statement. A. Distrated eating. B. Emotionally eating. C. Fueling for performance. D. Social eating. Letter C fueling for performance is the best answer. It is a must to all athletes that before they start a heavy training they must eat a right kind of food that can provide the proper fuel for his or her energy requirement. Now let's start with our topic which is Developing home-based family workout and evaluation. Exercise is a physical activity that planned, structured and repetitive for the purpose of conditioning any part of the body used to improve health and maintain fitness. Generally, you work up a sweat, breath heavily, and increase your rate during exercise. Gym is a usual place where people exercise. But there are many reasons you may want to avoid the gym. With the recent coronavirus pandemic, many people are concerned about going to the gym. 
while others simply want to maintain an exercise regime while they may have limited ability to travel outside their homes. It appears that in the new normal, we will be staying at home as much as possible to avoid public places and contact with too many people. This is already a change for people who are used to attending events and socializing. For anyone who is trying to stay calm and boost their immune system, staying at home poses another challenge, staying active may require some new routines. Stopping the spread of COVID-19 may take unprecedented change to daily routines, but staying healthy through it all is still a priority. Physical activity is essential to optimal health, so it is a good idea to prepare for working out on your own. Creating your own home-based workout. In our past modules, we tackled different fitness-related principles involving physical activities as well as the different fitness components relevant to improving one's health. Specific movements and their targets are no longer new to you. You can now create your own home-based workout for your family with your earned knowledge. How we are going to create our own home-based workout. We have three parts of creating or one home-based workout. First is gather your participants. It is very important to encourage your family members and or anyone staying at home with you to actively participate in this workout as it will benefit one's health enormously. You have to list down the person who will participate in the exercise. This answer the question. Who will be involved in the workout? Second is you have to know your target. You probably know already that setting workout goals is important, but did you realize that there are both short-term and long-term fitness goals that you need to set? Short-term goals. Start with small goals that you can reach pretty easily. It's easier to stay with something when you have success early and often. Long-term goals. These are large goals that you want to reach in 6 to 12 months. It will help you stay motivated if you track your progress and update your goals as you move forward. But for this part of our topic our target should only include the short term as the long term goal may not be applicable. But you must consider it also on the reflection as part of our topic. And last part is choose your muscular and cardiovascular strengthening exercise. You have to list down all the activities that you think will best sweep for your physical exercise. Indicate at least, 3 for muscle strengthening exercise and 1 for cardiovascular. If you do not have an equipment available at home, you can still reap the benefits odd strength training from bodyweight exercise programs. By doing bodyweight exercise, you utilize your own weight for strengthening specific muscle groups. You may also use bottled waters and any other equipments that are available in your home. Note. Follow the fit principle of physical activity. None of us can deny the importance of practical in learning or reinforcing the concepts we learn whether it is school, college, sports, extracurricular or general life lessons. And, that is precisely why, we love what Anthon Cheklo, had say. Knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. Let's us have an activity. Our activity named Family Fitness at Home. During new normal policy, one of the recommendations to minimize the spreading of infection is to stay at home as long as vaccines and cure are not yet ready. Typically, these focus on self-isolation to reduce social contact and scrupulous hand hygiene. However, it is strongly advisable to still engage in physical activities in order for us to be more fit, healthy and stronger to fight this kind of virus. Since we Filipinos culturally have strong family ties, it is more fun to try and to have exercise activities together with a family member like Zumba, dancing, circuit training, or the likes, as long as you follow the new normal policies. Record a video showing you with your family members of people at home doing physical activities. Please be guided with the guidelines used in social distancing. Our next activity is called Fill Me In. In this activity you are going to think of the different physical activities that you have encountered in your life and categorize them into three types. Think of five physical activities that you considered as light activities. Five physical activities which is moderate activities. And for the last type is you are going to think five physical activities which you concert as a vigorous activities. I gave you three minutes to finish the task.
Before we end our lesson for today's topic, let us have a wrap up of what you have learned from the tasks that you have done. Then let's find out what you have learned from our topic. For the first statement, about my own health choices and involvement in physical activity in this time of pandemic, I discovered that For the second statement, with the new discoveries about myself in facing the COVID-19 pandemic, I learned that And for the last statement. In order to keep myself and my family members fit and healthy in time of COVID-19 pandemic, I will. Now we have to write a simple reflection about our topic. You have to complete the statement. I have realized that in order to increase my participation in active recreational activities particularly in blank and for blank Congrats students! You have gained more knowledge about our topic. Participate in an organized event that addresses health and fitness issues and concerns. I hope you will apply it in your daily living. Especially that we are in a new normal because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't forget what Anton Chekhov said. Knowledge is of no value. Unless you put it into practice. Good day everyone and thank you.